Welcome to Technical Tuesday. This is Fred Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today we're going to discuss short-term versus long-term trading. But before we start, make sure to smash the like button, share, and subscribe, especially if you do find value in this presentation. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Short-term versus long-term trading. And this is a question I get all the time. So let's define a couple of terms here. Short-term trading is scalping, okay? It's going into trades intraday, mostly up until let's say 10 hours into the day that you're trading that particular asset, okay? If you're trading the American markets or you're trading the Forex symbols or whatever uh, future contracts that you're trading, we're generally looking at it as up to five to 10 hours of trading, okay? That you're holding on to the position from buy to sell, from open to close, up to 10 hours. Now, generally speaking, when we're talking about scalping, we're talking about going in and out very quickly, okay? That is the general term for scalping. Now, on the flip side, okay, there is longer term trading, which is generally categorized as swing trading. It can go up to anywhere between one to five days, I call it, okay? Because anything beyond that, you're really investing in the market, okay? You're taking a position in the market much longer term. Now, I don't wanna delve into the pros and cons of each one, but, Okay, for each one, you're gonna use whatever analysis that you're applying. So we know that there's one of two analysis that we apply to the market. It's either fundamental analysis or technical analysis. Now, fundamental analysis we've spoken about in the past, but just briefly, fundamental analysis just focuses on the numbers, comparing numbers from day to date over a given period of time. When we look at technical analysis, we're really trying to get into the psychology behind the the, the actual trades. Now the graphical representation of that is just there. So we kind of, you know, kind of looking at it from a graphical representation, but it's really the psychology. It's really the nuts and bolts of what is happening in the markets. Now in it, it does also have some numbers in it, which like in terms of volume or in terms of if there's money being funneled into the particular asset, it'll show it over time, right? It'll continuously making higher highs. So can technical analyses be used, okay, or be applied for both short-term and long-term trading? So this question I get all the time because some of the people who attend my webinars or attend some of the educational material online, and they have this question like, how long do I apply technical analysis for? Is it only for short term? Is it only for scalping? Or is it only for longer term trading? And so the short answer is that it's applied to both. Okay, but hear me out first. All right, so we're going to look at an hourglass. Okay, now if, think of it like this. The longer the hourglass, okay, the, more, the less times you have to flip it over, right? So think about it in trading. Now, in terms of trading, the longer the time frame and the longer the technical analysis is applied to it. So for example, if I'm looking at a support level, okay, over a longer period of time, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a shorter period of time, the validity of the longer period of time is that much stronger, okay? Vis-a-vis, -vis, if I'm looking at a shorter period of time, it's just a shorter period of time. So one example of this is like this morning, okay? I saw, I was looking at something in the Euro USD and it hit a previous support, okay, which ended up being the subsequent resistance. And we've seen this a million times and I've called it out. And that's really my A plus trade. One of my A plus trades is those type of scenarios where you're hitting a level on a resistance level here, but it was previous support, okay, which is technically speaking, a really great setup. Now, if I'm looking at it on a one hour chart, well, the validity is there for a one hour chart, right? So my time frame is much smaller. So if I get into that position, okay, at that resistance level, my anticipation for it, okay, vis-a-vis -vis what the chart is showing me is finite, right? It's much smaller time frame. Whereas if I'm trading something and I'm looking at something at a longer time frame, Okay, if I'm looking at, for example, Facebook right now, which popped up above its resistance level, okay, that's much more meaningful to me over a longer period of time. So I may hold that position once it's broken out for a much longer period of time because of that. So again, two things about long-term versus short-term trading when it comes to technical analysis, the validity for a longer period of time is that much more valid. Support is that much more of a strong support, 
resistance is that much more of a strong resistance. If there's a trend line and it's going for about eight months straight up, it's keep on going, that's a much stronger technical analysis than if I'm looking at something that it's just going at a one hour chart and it's going up, obviously, right? But the application to it is that much more effective because you could get that much more conviction when it's a longer period of time that you could get a little bit more aggressive on those type of trades when we're hitting multiple year levels, okay? And this has happened in the euro, it's happened in every market, on the forex symbols, the stocks, the indices, future markets, everything, and it applies to everything, and that's the beauty of technical analysis. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you here next week on Technical Tuesdays. Thank you.